Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about iOS 13.2 Developer Beta 3. Apple has just released this software to registered developers. Now, public beta testers, you'll most likely see this a little later this afternoon at the latest tomorrow as usual. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is expected release date, official final release for iOS 13.2. Apple appears to be on a one week release cycle. Beta 2 was released six days back and now we see beta 3. So it looks like Apple is ramping up production for the software and we can anticipate iOS 13.2 to be officially released to everyone worldwide. I'm expecting this to be released the first week of November. That's when we could see iOS 13.2 official final build release to everyone. Again, Apple is ramping up production. Things are a lot smoother now. And this software also brings a ton of improvements. In case you haven't been watching my beta coverage on the home screen, you can now edit your home screen differently and delete your apps. You can see that the graphical user interface here has changed quite a bit. We have a new delete button directly on here and the rearrange app icon uh, extension here has also been renamed to edit home screen so you can remove and move applications on the home screen directly from there so i really like that a lot i'm happy that apple brought that change here to ios there's also improvements here to siri and dictation so if we head on over to siri and search the extension here in settings you can now manage your siri dictation history you can delete it from here so this software also brings improvements to that i'm happy to see that here as well now announce messages with siri this is something that hasn't been working properly over the past beta one and two i'm going to be testing beta three here and by the way for those of you that are asking this only works with second generation airpods in case you were wondering and of course other beat products as well and more information on that on my follow-up video you guys already know that i have usually a 24 to 48 hour follow-up explaining additional features and improvements with the software so make sure to subscribe if you want to watch that video coming up here shortly we also have improvements to airplay and handoff with ios 13.2 so once you download the software we go to general airplay and handoff this will allow us to transfer any music to homepod when we arrive at home with ios 13.2 now the homepod also needs a software update in order for this to happen so we're waiting on that as well and of course new emoji and emoji keyboard are now available on ios 13.2 where you can select the actual uh, couples here and just kind of select any random uh, combination of couples here different genders different colors different hair different skin tones a new picker for the emoji keyboard. Now, one thing I noticed that I did not notice when I first initially covered uh, this beta was that Apple allows you now to change the video resolution within the camera's application on the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro models. But I noticed that if you tap on the right, you actually change the frame rate right there. So 24, we also have 30 and 60. And if we tap on the left, you can actually change from 4K to HD 1080 and so on so something that i did not know and i wanted to mention in this video so if you tap on the right you can change the frame rate on the left the actual video resolution and this works of course with slow motion video as well now i'm going to be digging through the software to share with you guys as i mentioned on my follow-up in the next 24 to 48 hours so be sure to stay tuned i'm going to be testing the software and do some additional searching around to see everything that's new with the software but this was a quick recap of what to expect and the software is currently out for you guys right now public beta testers you should see this soon developers right now it is available for you thank you for watching and i'll see you guys real soon Peace.